Why, hello there, and welcome back to the Message Marketing Pod. I'm your host, Christopher Melotti from Melotti Media, and this is episode 97, how content marketing can help move your customers up the loyalty ladder. So businesses are always searching for more customers. While there are so many different ways to attract and retain them, content marketing is one of the best methods. That's why we talk about this all the time here at Melotti Media. The question is, how exactly do you use content marketing effectively? In today's ever-expanding and dynamic marketplace, the needs of your customers are evolving. This makes marketing a challenging exercise, especially when trying to meet your customers' expectations and result in your brand becoming lost in a sea of competitors struggling to stay afloat. Effective content marketing is not about attracting high quantities of customers simply to increase your chances for success. Rather, it's about taking the time to understand exactly how your audience feels about your business. That way, you can begin to tailor your marketing to suit their needs, regardless of where they may stand in the customer journey. Now, one of the most efficient ways to do this is to build your own customer loyalty ladder. So in this podcast, I'm going to discuss the customer loyalty ladder and outline how you can use it to your advantage while developing your content marketing strategy. So, of course, first things first is what is the customer loyalty ladder itself? Well, the customer loyalty ladder is a marketing concept that allows you to clearly identify and assess your relationships with each of your existing and current and upcoming customers. It relies on analyzing the level of engagement that your customers have with your brand and using this information to find the right marketing techniques to effectively connect with them. So the goal is to get customers to climb your loyalty ladder as the higher they go, the more profitable they are to your business. So similar to the concept of the customer journey, which we've discussed in previous podcasts and blogs on Melotti Media, so if you need them, just search for them under customer journey. The loyalty ladder works on the premise that not all customers are the same. In fact, each have varying needs and require different strategies to build a connection. So the customer loyalty ladder has seven stages, and we're going to go through them each, but here they are just as a summary. So number one, suspects. Number two, prospects. Number three, shoppers. Number four, customers. Number five, members. Number six, advocates. And last but not least, number seven, raving fans. Ultimately, your goal is to drive your suspects all the way up the loyalty ladder until they become raving fans. That is, the type of customer who, by telling everyone about you, does your marketing and sales for you with no prompting at all. So why should you aim to drive your customers up the loyalty ladder? As a general rule, the higher up a customer is on the loyalty ladder, the less they cost your business in marketing spend and the more valuable they are to your bottom line. This is because those people high on the ladder are often repeat customers, making up the bulk of your sales and helping you with your marketing through word of mouth and testimonials. On the other end of the scale, your customers on the lower rung typically require more intensive marketing, education, and use of resources to demonstrate your value to them and build brand awareness. Your customers are changing, so must you. Nowadays, customers aren't just looking for a business to get their products or services from. They're looking for a reputable brand that they can build a genuine connection with. In other words, they're looking for a brand that will treat them like a person, not a dollar figure. If your business fails to take the time to build these relationships and move your customers up the loyalty ladder, you'll spend a lot more money perpetually marketing to these customers on the lower rungs. This is incredibly inefficient and not sustainable for your business. It's clear that taking the time to guide your customers along their journey and drive them up the loyalty ladder offers so many more benefits for your brand. So let's talk about how the customer loyalty ladder works. So as mentioned, your customer loyalty ladder consists of seven stages. So I'm going to take you through them all and then how to get people going upwards. So number one are your suspects. Your suspects are those customers who have a need for your product or service, but are yet to learn anything about your brand. Content marketing strategies that focus on generating brand awareness are most effective at this stage. This is the hardest and most costly step of your brand because you need to use more resources and put in a lot of effort to make a great first impression. However, it's still an essential step to start creating a pipeline. So while suspects may not be extremely profitable at this point, 
you still need to raise brand awareness to start the process and drive suspects upwards. Number two, prospects. These people see your brand and interact with your content marketing, but are yet to purchase any of your products or services. At this step, you should utilize conversion content marketing to give your prospects the motivation they need to move up a rung and become shoppers, which is the next stage. So number three are the shoppers. This step is absolutely critical. Shoppers are those customers who have just purchased one of your products or services for the first time. So it's crucial to ensure that they have a great customer experience to encourage repeat business, which brings me to step four, which is customers. So these are your repeat ongoing customers. They've been pleased with your offerings and your customer experience so far and regularly make use of your products or services. As long as you continue to meet their expectations, they will eventually move up to the next stage. Number five, now we're getting up to the higher levels and this is where you really want to play. Number five are your members. Your members or your member customers feel a sense of connection with your brand. They're very pleased with your experience and make use of your loyalty programs, packages, and subscriptions. This is the first stage of true brand loyalty, and this is where you want to start playing most. Now, number six are your advocates. Advocates are those customers who love to tell other people about your brand. They think highly of your products or services, and they take any relevant opportunity to tell family, friends, and colleagues. They are your source of free and effective word of mouth marketing, which is one of the most important forms of marketing. Now, number seven are the best. They are your raving fans. Finally, at the top of your ladder, you've got the type of customer that every brand wants, a raving fan. These customers don't need to be marketed to. They will buy your products or services simply because they absolutely adore them. They go beyond doing your marketing like an advocate. Now they perform your sales for you because they convert people. Like a true fan, they will rave about your brand and convert your suspects and prospects into paying customers all by themselves without prompting. So by understanding your own customer loyalty ladder, you can use more effective marketing strategies to gain more customers who eventually become valuable assets to your brand. So this is a really, really important thing to know because, for example, at Malotti Media, what we do is we actually rank our customers based on all seven stages of the loyalty ladder, and then we apply certain content marketing strategies in order to drive them upwards. So if you have strangers, for instance, it's time to increase your brand awareness. If you have um, advocates, how do you make them loyal fans and so forth? It's really, really important. So let's talk about how you can categorize your customers on the loyalty ladder. Now that you know what the loyalty ladder is, the next step is determining which of your customers sit at what level of the ladder, like I explained. So as I said, here at Malotti Media, we use a content matrix that allows us to better understand our clients and their individual needs. This works by asking three simple questions of each of your customers. One, when did we last contact this client? Number two, how do they feel about us? And number three, what else can we do for them? By answering these three questions, we develop a bespoke marketing strategy that appeals to our clients' needs and guides them further up the loyalty ladder. So my question to you is, how can you apply this customer matrix to your own brand? It's really important. So how can you increase customer loyalty through content marketing? Wherever your customers may stand on the loyalty ladder, there is a content marketing strategy that will appeal to them. Once you understand how your customers are engaging with your brand, you can begin to formulate an effective strategy that will empower your brand to deliver the right content to the right customers at the right time. This ensures that you are taking the right steps to guide your customers up the loyalty ladder using content marketing to convert your suspects into raving fans of your brand. So if you need help, of course, contact Malotti Media. To better connect with your audience and move your customers from suspects to raving fans, you need powerful messages, quality copywriting, and consistent content. However, we understand that you're probably feeling a little time poor or spread thin, and it's possible that you still have a lot of unanswered questions, or you might just hate writing. So that's okay because my team at Malotti Media can help you do all of your copywriting, wordsmithing, and message marketing for you. At Malotti Media, we use our tried and tested copywriting approach to help you with your content marketing needs while you focus on what matters most to you, growing your business. Our message marketing services can sharpen your words to achieve your goals today. So if you need more help or you want to discuss your needs, we are always here for you. So for more information or to speak to us, 
contact us at enquire at malottimedia.com.au or visit our website, malottimedia.com.au. We are always here to help you. So contact us today. Thank you so much for joining us for episode 97 of the Message Marketing Pod. I'm your host, Christopher Malotti from Malotti Media. Please subscribe and please keep listening. There will be more episodes to come. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day.